Welcome to Americana Archives. Today's headline is With the Modern Whalers. It says, 13 American whalers of the San Francisco fleet operating in Beaufort Sea to the north of Alaska are frozen fast in the ice flows there, writes P.T. McGrath to the Daily News from Newfoundland. This fact is occasioning no little comment among those who know what this simple statement means. For when in the past, whaling vessels have been engirt there and held for the winter, gruesome tragedies have resulted. Once a herd of reindeer had to be driven from Alaska to the whaling rendezvous by American government officials, the animals being then slaughtered to keep the crews alive. Another time, a number of crews wintered ashore with the natives, and the contact with dirt and squalor generated a plague from which white men and brown men alike perished wholesale. Tragedies equally appalling befell the Atlantic whaling fleets, which usually wintered in Hudson Bay, and which almost invariably met some such misfortune, until now that inland sea is almost deserted. Scarcely a whaling vessel is found there today, where once were mighty fleets. The American whalers, resorting to Hudson Bay, have been reduced to a handful, and the British whalers have abandoned it for the Greenland seas again. There are, however, three or four whaling stations along the shore of Hudson Bay. In these, a number of natives are employed for the purpose of killing whales. There are one or two white men at each factory, acting as overseers to the natives, who are employed to kill whales, when whales are to be found. The Eskimos are admirably suited to this work. They have become as expert as the average white man and handle the white man's weapons and manage his boats as skillfully as he does himself. These stations are cheaply run. Only the smallest pay has to be given to the natives. A single whale a year makes a station a paying venture. A supply ship visits a station once each summer receiving the products and landing food and other necessities. Scotch whalers now fish chiefly off the Greenland coast. Their efforts this year promise to be more successful than for many seasons past. The eclipse has been reported homeward bound with seven fish, yielding five and one-half tons of bone. The morning is reported with three, the balena with four, the windward with two, the diana with two, and the Scotia with one. The principal article of commerce obtained from these Arctic whalers is the famous whalebone, the flexible substance in their lower jaws, which serves them for teeth. And this is at present worth about $12,000 a ton, or $6 a pound. It can thus be easily seen what a splendid result has been achieved by the Eclipse for her season's fishing. This story came from the great state of Nebraska, being reported in the Loose City Northwestern of January 11, 1906. Thank you for joining us today. If you want to continue to uncover all of America's lost and forgotten history, then remember before you leave to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and remember to like and comment below. And we will see you next time on Americana Archives.